Hello everyone. Yes, sorry for the inconvenience today. Uh, okay, today we're going to talk about gas power cycles. So far, we covered a couple of power cycles. Basically, we covered one power cycle, which was a vapor power cycle, but we modified those that in power cycle, uh, simple vacuum power cycle, the liquid and regenerative power cycle to increase efficiency. Right? And we, in the beginning of the power cycle, a topic of the power cycle, we said we're going to mention, categorize those power cycles uh, based on the working fluid, uh, which named the cycle as a white vapor power cycle for the gas power cycle. Now, today we're going to talk about gas power cycle. Gas power cycle. Gas power cycle. And there are air standard cycle. In particular, we're going to talk about auto cycle. Diesel cycle, dual cycle, and brightness. Okay. So, in this class, we will talk about auto cycle and diesel cycle. We're not going to mention dual cycle. Dual cycle is, is basically combination of auto and diesel cycle okay. uh, but basically if you know auto cycle and diesel cycle you can take your dual cycle what i would like to, to mention here is that auto and diesel cycle and dual cycle as well they're closed system cycles right closed system cycles or control mass Right? Meaning that it, it's the entire cycle uh, happens in a piston center assembly and closed system control mass system. Uh, Brighton cycle here is open system. We will see those in details the components, what are the states, how they function, what are the processes, etc. Okay. So let's start with an air standard cycle. Air standard cycle, basically the working fluid, as I mentioned in the er er earlier, the working fluid is air, right? And air is, and air, as we know, in this class, behaves as an idle gas. Combustion processes, any of these auto cycle, diesel cycle, and do, do cycle are modeled as addition from an external source and he rejection process to the surrounding is used to restore working fluid to its initial state. This is something that I need to clarify because 
in the previous cycles, like Rankine uh, Rankin cycles, including multiplied ones, we were looking at the system, we were running working fluid in the system uh, constantly, meaning that the mass was trapped in the system and it wasn't leaving the system. And that's the case here as well. But in reality, it is not. Uh, what I mean by that, once we, uh, in the beginning of the state or a cycle, even if it's a closed system, mass is not trapped in the system in real application, in reality. But since we are looking at a theoretical point of view, we're gonna keep the mass inside the system and let the heat and work passing through one boundaries and affecting my cycle. Okay? So basically heat reject process to the surrounding to restore the working flow to initial state, but in real applications, we take the initial working fluid from the environment as an initial state instead of initial going back to initial state by heat rejection. Okay. All processes are initially reversible. Internal combustion engines. First, we will talk about the auto cycle. Other words, it is called spark ignition engine. Diesel cycle or a compression ignition and The name auto and diesel because of the inventors of these cycles. Spark ignition engine, auto cycle is called spark ignition engine because of a heat addition process for the system or the cycle is triggered by the spark. And in the diesel cycle, on the other hand, instead of spark, it is triggered by the compression. Piston. Cylinder nomenclature. Piston cylinder assembly. With a piston, bottom that center where the maximum volume is, bottom line of cylinder sitting inside the piston sitting inside the cylinder, and the maximum. Uh, the top volume the piston reaches inside the cylinder is top is called top that center. There's a spark plug on top of piston cylinder assembly, spark plug or fuel injection or fuel injector. For diesel cycle. We can also couple wells here, intake and exhaust wells. 
Diameter of the cylinder is called four. And this then the piston travels inside the cylinder is called drop. And there's a well. So bore and stroke are the dimensions of the cycle, if you will. And bottom dead center, bottom dead center, where the piston sits in the bottom, and top dead center, and the piston reaches the maximum. So the top is formed inside the cylinder. One of the important parameter is displacement. Displacement, volume. Velocity displacement is the difference between bottom dust center minus the top dust center. Okay. So when this is basically the hmm, engine size. If it is a four cylinder engine with 200 liters, so each cylinder displacement volume is 5.5 liters. Compression ratio. Compression ratio. R. Volume at bottom that center divided by volume at top that center. This is one of, this is also an important parameter for gas valve cycles, particularly for closed system ones. Last but not least, mean effective pressure, mean effective pressure. Mean effective pressure, as you can, Yes, that this is a power cycle which contains multiple states, and each state has a different pressure. Mean effective pressure meaning that uh, overall, uh, average pressure overall my uh, cycle. Okay. So work, we know how to calculate the work equals pressure times the displacement. If I know my displacement, I can calculate my Average pressure on a mean effective pressure work net divided by displacement wall. Or stroke cycle. This is called four stroke cycle because it has four states in one cycle. So in a PV diagram, pressure times displacement uh, over this displacement, this displacement. Okay. So how this looks on a PV diagram is actually intake takes place to put the working fluid inside. Intake valve well closes here, and the compression takes place from state two to state three. Compression, compressive fluid, and almost at the top of uh, close to the top that center, ignition happens. Ignition takes place because we are looking at particularly again at an auto cycle and. State with a state four power generation takes place. Exhaust valve opens. Open here. Right. 
and exhaust. We're not going to take exhaust and intake in the power cycle calculations, but we're going to look at those as heat introduction or reduction from uh, in, in, in the cycle. Okay. In exhaust, we are closest here. Up that center, bottom that center. Those four strokes are intake, compression, power generation, and an exhaust. We're going to look at these in detail. So for intake, oh, intake valve opens, intake valve opens, exhaust valve closes, and piston, piston, Moves from top that center to bottom that center in mixture of oil and okay. that's a where in the stroke occurs. And calm compression. Intake valve closes. Exhaust valve remains closed. Piston moves from bottom dash center up. That center and compressing fuel air mixture. Now, as I mentioned on the TV diagram, near top of stroke. Uh, here, spark ignites fuel air mixture, causing heat impact, okay. which means the complete compression stroke and we are ready to produce some power, power strokes. Both, both were closed. But combustion products, Expand housing piston to move from top that center to bottom that center, producing work out there.
Thank you. Stress. After completing our production, now we will take those to use mixture. For that, we need to open the exhaust valve. Exhaust valve open. Take valve. And piston moves from the bus center up to that center, forcing and combustion products. Out of cylinder. Four stroke cycle. Therefore, the piston, right? But I go. For strokes, intake stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, and exhaust stroke. So those strokes complete our gas power cycle again for auto and diesel. Dual, dual cycles, we're not going to look at dual cycle, but auto cycle and diesel cycle will be enough to cover dual cycle as well. And for completing auto and diesel cycle, you need four strokes. And for four strokes, uh, meaning that the cycle for one time, one completed cycle, we move uh, four times the length of the cylinder. Therefore, the piston moves the length of cylinder four times for one complete also slightly more again it's a air Standard cycle. So we can use this air as a working fluid. Intake and exhaust strokes. Not model. In real application, yes, there is an intake and exhaust strokes included. But for this class, we are looking at a theoretical. Uh, Auto cycle and diesel cycle, we will not consider intake and exhaust cycle. We will all, instead, we will look at the heat injection or heat rejection cycle instead of intake and exhaust. Okay. Third, compression. Model as isentropic. input modeled as isometric which accuse at at that center expansion model as isentropic Rejection modeled as isometric and bottom back center.
So also cycle model. The PV yes diagram. Yes. So process state one to state two. Right? So intake stroke introduce. Right? It's an isentropic, isentropic compression. Isentropic compression from state one to state two. Isometric heat input. What happens simultaneously that volume doesn't change it happens so fast that it doesn't change its volume so it's isentropic isometric sorry isometric uh, from state to the state three state three to state four is isentropic isentropic expansion and state four state one is isometric cooling Okay, heat rejection. Um, on a PS diagram, isentropic compression, isometric heat addition, iso isentropic expansion, and isentropic heat rejection. From one to two, process one to two, which is isentropic compression. Okay. Apply first law. It's an isentropic process to reach zero. Therefore, work from state one to state two minus internal energy difference from state one to state two. This is an isentropic process, right? Relative volume at state two over relative volume at state one. Be equal to C2 over C1, which is the compression ratio, one over R. And this is from state uh, process one to two, and process two to three is isometric. Heating, right? If I apply first law, you from state three to state two to state three, and work from state two to state three, equal internal energy stored inside the suspenders from state three to state three. Production from state to the state three is zero. So we can tell heat heating from state to the state three heat in injection inside the system. Production or S internal energy difference from state to the state three. Process. The four isentropic, isentropic function, isentropic expansion, isometric 
Sirin, Kaizen Again, if you apply first law, heat from state three to state four minus work from state three to state four is equal to the difference from state three to state four heat is zero and work from state three to state four will be minus from state three to state four. Since it's an isentropic expansion, delta S is zero, and the two volume at state four over two volume at state three will be four, be four will be three will be equal to compression ratio of. Process cool to one isometric cooling. By first law. Work production is zero. The delta V is zero, right? Isometric. And the rejection from state four to state one is directly related to the internal difference from state to state one. Combining a body equations. Work from state one to state two, G1 minus G2. Right? I work on the system from state one to state two, G1 minus G2. Q from state two to state three, peak addition from state two to state two, G3 minus U2. Work by or work. From state three to state four, U two minus U four. Heat rejection from state four to state one, U one minus U four. Work net. I have two work from state one to state two and state three to state four. Therefore, net. Work net the U three minus U four plus U one minus U two. I can also find my thermal efficiency cycle by the ratio work net over Q n. Work net is U three minus U four plus U one minus U two. Divided by Qn is U minus U2. Example. At the beginning of the compression process, in an air standard auto cycle, pressure is 14.7 psi and temperature is 530 degrees angle. The compression 
ratio is eight. For maximum cycle temperature of 2,000 degrees Renton, determine the kernel efficiency thermal efficiency and mean effective I will start creating table. Nice. One, two, three, four. Pressure on the side. Temperature in between one ten. It's the volume. We check out. Energy per pound. Perfect. Four. Okay. Initial pressure is given. And initial temperature is 500 until it is given. Air is a working fluid. If you go to air table at 530 uh, degree of Rankin, you can, you should be able to read your internal energy is 90.3, and the R, V sub R is 151.38. And compression ratio is given as so the compression ratio R or we want over V2 or we over V3. Okay. Also, state three, I know my temperature, 2000. So I can read my new internal energy in relative volume. Four point three internal energy is 367 point. Right. So for isentropic, State one, the sweep volume can be found from R P1 over P1. I know all of these values. R is the 3.3, R falls to the pound 50 Jenkins, that's 502 is a temperature and a unit conversion from feet to inch. And pressure is 14.7 pound force inch squared. And the law of specific volume as state one will be 13.35 to the feet. I know in my compression ratio, I can find a specific volume at state two,
Uh, 51.33.3, 15.9, go back to table, do that. One is 35.35, and we are to is 18.92. By knowing this, we are, we can find your temperature. By knowing your temperature, so we also calculated this equal in that state too. By knowing your we are, we can find your temperature. By knowing your temperature, we can find your internal energy, which is one, 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 two, hundred and seven point thirty. I know from state to the state three is isometric, which means this volume will be same. We also state four to state one an isometric process. Now, V for relative volume equal compression ratio and relative volume at state three three times I know my VR three from the table I can find my compression ratio which is thirty four. Which is thirty four point two six. Thirty four point zero four. And this state three at this one point seven. And knowing we are, we can find uh, temperature. And then the temperature, you can find how and when it connects. And I also know my specific staple. So work from state one to two is U1 minus U2, 90.3 minus 207.33. BTU per pound is minus 117.33 BTU per pound. Two to state three is U2 minus U2. 367.61 times 207.33 BTU per pound and so 160.23 BTU per pound. Work from state three to state four, which is your production U3 minus U4. Three hundred and sixty seven point two one minus U four one hundred and fifty four point three E two U two hundred and three point forty one. And heat projection from state four to state one U one minus U four nine point three minus one hundred and fifty four point two.
So I know everything completed now. So Kana is one minus TC over TH, and these are absolute temperatures, one minus 130 degree Rankin divided by 2,000 degree Rankin gives me 0 0.74. 74% is my thermal efficiency. And thermal efficiency work net over QM and work net as work from state three to state four plus work from state one to state two which is 86.38 BTU per pound. And QN is from state to the state three, 160.3 BTU per pound, which is 0.5. Okay. And we are left with mean effective pressure, the average pressure, and throughout my cycle with that over Displacement one minus work net two hundred and three point one four one minus one hundred and seventeen point three BPU per pound, which is eighty six point thirty eight BPU per pound. We need unit conversion to Okay. Yeah, specific, uh, specific volume is 13.35 minus V2 is 1.67. Now I need to convert V2 to the T to cancel it out. Okay. All right. So I need a pressure out. Okay. So to do that, we need to multiply 778. Pound holes B over BTU, one BTU, okay. divided by, I convert this bit to inch to satisfy the pressure PCR. Yes, I want four or inch per over P. There, mean effective pressure. That will be 39 more 0.9 pound for Let's move on to diesel. cycle. This is a cycle is pretty much the same as auto cycle, but the only difference is instead of the triggering the system, get a spark ignition, instead of a spark, we will do compression, more compression and increase the temperature to trigger the system with uh, uh, we, do, we use spark in auto cycle because uh, we don't have, you don't have high enough temperature to start the combustion process. But in the diesel cycle, there's two things different. First, in, uh, mixture is not compressed in a diesel cycle. Volume is compressed and ignition and this spray, pool is sprayed when you have the right temperature, appropriate pressure, uh, temperature to start the combustion process. But in the auto cycle, we have a full air mixture. We compress it to the point where we have a satisfied or appropriate uh, compression ratio, and then we apply spark. But again, in the diesel cycle, instead of a spark, we increase uh, pressure one step further to get appropriate temperature. Diesel cycle is also 
Here standard cycle, here standard cycle. Same as auto cycle, intake and exhaust stops on that model. Compression model as isentropic right? in a vertical cycle. Heat that heat input model as isobaric. During from top that center out of volume, which I'm going to talk about shortly. It's Hansen model as isentropic. Rejection model has isometric with the cruise at the bottom back center. Only difference. The T and TS diagram is a state from state to the state three. But I have isobaric process instead of an isometric process. T, 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 S. Right. So I compress, right? And then I compress a little further. This is where my auto cycle takes place and the auto cycle is uh, it spark the heat, heat complete heat addition by spark here the increase compress a little further right State one, state three, and uh, state two, and state two to state three, there's both heat and work production in a diesel cycle. Uh, that's the difference from um, auto cycle. State three to state four, isentropic expansion and state four to state one is isometric heat rejection. State one to state two as an isentropic one two state two to state three as a very and state three to state four as an perfect and state one to state three four to state one as an So the cut of volume here, the cut of volume is in the auto cycle. Remember, we go from bottom that center to top that center, right? In the diesel cycle, we said we compress a little further. The, the, that the little further amount is the cut of volume. After top that center, we go little up, it's called cutoff volume. And it's either given or you can either calculate from it if you didn't. That's from one to two. But 
first law from e from state one to two minus work from state one to two equals final energy difference from state one to two e to zero work from state one to two same as motorcycle minus final energy difference one to two process First law two minus work from state to the state three. Hmm. Work is P and delta V. Yes, pressure from state to the state three times V to minus V2, involving difference from state to the state three, which we'll put that on the other side and we give us and solve the difference from state to the state three. Okay. And cut off ratio. Cut off ratio takes place from state to state three. Cut off ratio or cut off R C. The R C is this volume or the volume at state three over volume at state. Process. State three to state four. Apply first law. I then for the expansion. State two to state three is isobaric. And state one to state two is isentropic. And pressure. To apply for both in state three and state four, Q minus work is your work from state three to state four. Or minus u from state three to state four. Yeah. L pass is equal. Uh, the volume from state four to state three, the ratio or the volume as state four and volume as state three will be equal to R or R. I see. Okay. Process one uh, four to one isometric U minus work from state one four one. Is zero to from state one, four to one will be equal to and internal energy is equal to state one. Combining 
about collisions. Work from state one to state two will be u1 minus u2, u from state two to state three to state two minus state two. Work from state two to state three plus work from state three to state four. Remember, we produce work while we are getting heat. So we have additional work to state to the state three now in a diesel cycle. Okay. So first from state to the state three, the pressure in state to the state three times the volume difference three minus three two plus the internal energy difference in state three to state four, U three minus. E three dimensional from state four to state one will be one minus. Work next. Pressure from state two to state three is work volume difference. From state two to state three plus U three minus U four plus From state to state, and thermal efficiency. We work net over here and work net means this entire thing. U three minus U three, U three minus U four, and U one minus U two. That is by Q N. It is state two to state three, state two minus two. Okay. Example. It is standard. The cycle is a compression ratio of sixteen. And the cutoff ratio of two. At the beginning. of compression, pressure 14 point UTSI. Volume is 0.5 VT. And temperature five hundred and twenty degrees Fahrenheit. We're asked to determine a heat added to the system in DPU. The heat rejection. U the cardinal efficiency the, the thermal efficiency and the mean effective pressure. I have a clear role.
seven ways. Three, one, two, three, four. Start of compassion, start of eating, start of expansion, start of cooling. First, PSI, temperature in drinking, is the volume. The key for now. Internal again, BTE for now. And talking BTE for now. And the wall. Pressure is going to question point two. Temperature 520. Internal can be found on the table when 520 is going to be U will be 88 and 62, and we are also 158.68. We can also read and huh? Compression ratio is 16 and cut ratio is We found R, V, R, and internal energy by using table, clear table at 520 degrees When I is entropic process, I know that we are truly R1. One hour R, right? And we are four over three. Four will be three, will be four over. See? Let's be calling it state one. I'll make sure to find my space to call it state one. We want R, P1 over P1, right? Those are all known. R is 53.3 pound force feet per pound to be lengthened. And start on the one of the two rankings. P over 114 square. Minus I. P is 14.2. Down for 13 square. P2. P1 over R. P1 is. Here, thirteen point fifty six fifty per pound, and we two of this point three four seven five. We are two. We want to also be our one over R. Now, Two nine point nine one one. You can find my temperature one thousand two hundred and two. Right. I also know my specific volume point three four seven five. 
internal energy and entropy can be found from table and only temperature. Right? Internal energy is 266. Four and copy with the three hundred and sixty nine point four. Two pressure at state two or two over. I know all these now. And R is 53.3 pounds for the first degree Rankine times 100 and what? 1502 degree Rankine and 1 feet per over 14 square divided by it's a polymer station. 0.8475 to the key uh, now. P2 from here will be 656 pounds uh, for So specific volume at P3, RC times P2, P1.695. Five fifty yeah. Okay. In a state three, right? I know my pressure at state three, and I know my R at state three, so I can find my temperature at state three. B, B will be equal to B, 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 B over R, pressure B3 equals P2, 636 um, for in squared. And 144 into the word times this is volume C3 1.695 cubic per pound divided by 3.3 pound for C pound the event temperature at state C and here. 3,005 to be That's the Temperature increases to start the combustion. So at C3, temperature is 3,005. I can find my internal energy and entropy. Internal energy is 586.16. Entropy is 792.15. We are calculated 1.174. And specific volume, we calculated 1.695. Cooling process from state four to state three is isometric. It means this is volume of state four equals this is volume of state one, which is 13.56 to the per pound. Okay. And we are four over V are three, this is volume of state four over volume of state three, both power are C equals A. So we are four equal to eight times we are three. I know my we are three and we are four will be nine point two nine. Which 
by knowing my how I can complete my table now. So if we are nine point nine. I find my temperature 15, 31. Now my specific volume, working point of six. I can read my internal energy from the 270. Now I can it. I can also find my income if I need it. I completed my table, so I'm ready to complete the solution. Huh? QN is H three minus H right? two with four hundred and twenty two point seventy five BTU per pound. QN M um, specific key M is point zero three six nine pounds QN four hundred and twenty two point seventy five BP per pound. To add fifteen point six two to you. One minus U four is it minus one hundred and eighty three point seven eight to to you. You out. You're asked to find the work I'm finding my total heat in and heat up. And then times the heat up will be minus 6.7 PTU. And work net is equals 2 net, and 2 net is 2 and minus heat up. To end this, fifteen point six minus six point eight. Work net is eight point eight two two. How many frequency? I know one minus T C over T H. One minus five hundred and twenty degree lengthen, one by three thousand and ten degree lengthen. Carnet efficiency, carnal is point eight two seven. And thermal efficiency is work that's over two in UN eight point eight two BTU. Far fifteen point six two point five mean effective pressure is work over volume difference. Eight point three two BTU. Again, we need to make a profit conversion from BTU to P BTU divided by 
point five minus point five minus sixty-two. Right, I have compression ratio. I can find my for volume times one hundred and forty-four in square over t square. And mean effective pressure from here. Mean effective pressure. Mean effective pressure is one or one times four. That is all for today. Please let me know if there are any questions. See you on Thursday.